Okay. See the bands. Like Utsuro, Obro on J side, and Agane Thalia on Master's side. He's probably tired of playing that pair by now, but I guess Himika is always the ban. Oh, okay. So here's what Induce does. It breaks Centrifuge. So if he tries to back up and only backs up two and then gets Induced, then it will break Centrifuge to prevent the hammer from being think. Actually, I'm not sure if that works. I'm going to FAQ that before it comes up in this game. Turn one roaring advantage. Very cool. And it looks like we're going to set up for Steam Cannon, as you do. Turn one and turn on your. Death special, good stuff. Get that extra stack route, two extra stack route tokens to make it easier to get Ash in, in a sense. Seeing a lot. No sure it can play, probably just to keep uh Ghana Aura locked. Yeah, stun's a good answer for Aura. Going straight to range zero. And okay, so the answer to that earlier question is that it does not make sense. It's mistaken. I know Jay didn't bring in Powak, but I wonder if he has Shadow Wing. I don't quite remember. I guess effectively. No Nimpo Walk and no Shadow Wing. 
I guess he has to wait for Overmaster to attack him to get the attack range. It could be problematic to get out to range 4. Okay, Overmaster gets a free focus action. Really wanting that Dark Pulse. Aha! Boy, that centrifugal attack's almost looking really good here. You just gotta be able to back up. Actually, you could, but you could go to zero aura. Here it comes. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Lamb. Yep, being at four aura, kind of rough there. I think. Yeah, no, just not having any any quick means to back up out to him there. He could have backed up one more space on his turn, maybe. I don't know if he had the cards for that, though. I don't know about that recover either. You probably want to move out too. Range uh, 4 for your traps, but then again, maybe he's counting on Overmaster to move up so that his traps will hit. Okay, yep. This is just pressure for Overmaster to attack, or he misses a draw. There are no reactions that attack on Overmaster's side, so... There's... Not really any... Thing Jay has to play around as far as having that en enhancement deactivate early. Okay. Master opting to make the attack and thus end the turn. Strings hits or that would be really good if Rush of Blades was an option, but um, it's not with Obero A1. Instead, you have Sneak Attack, which gets weaker the more cards your opponent has in their card pile. Okay. 
Yeah, Dark Pulse doesn't have any hand to attack here. It might still be worth playing slow and holding on to both of these cards. Yeah, there we go. I suppose you just steam cannon, and then your opponent can't really attack you. Yet the, they have to spend their turn recovering. Oh, you don't have the tokens for that. Never mind. This is probably a black box turn then, right? Clearly. Yes, you can be punished, but... Okay, it's not the worst, but he's going to have to remember to reshuffle before his black box next turn. Yeah, this seems like a fine black box. Right. Should have reshuffled, though. I guess he can reshuffle next turn. No, wait. He can do this. He can, he can black box this turn. Then reshuffle next turn. Okay, going for Flare Drain instead. Thinking about doing Grand Gravity again here. I don't dislike it. That only put him down to four flare, and you should be black box from there. Oh, no? Okay. That might have been a mistake. Yeah, reap first. Takes the reap aura, then you can use to guarantee. Oh, not quite. That's a shuriken. Oh, he takes the shuriken to. And deuce doesn't. Oh, that explains the thought there. Okay, that's a. Pretty good hedge. I don't like that either. That's probably a good choice. Okay, Obro giving you refocus. Fun Hurricane. Not enough for it to come back. No real plays to turn. Um, 
it might be worth grand gravity again. Green speed. Here we go. It has to suffer at range zero for another turn. That did give the Ashen Frog for so a little bit more dangerous for Overmaster, but at the same time, he just wins the game after he transforms. What you should be doing this turn, right? Right? Transform, no hand limit, draw two. All right, so Jay has to win this turn, or he loses. No, 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 no. that's not true. He has to win this turn, or he gets set to one life, because he's got the cheat death. It honestly means he probably should have... Well, it wouldn't have made a difference. I so he probably should have reshuffled, but he didn't have any discard or play. I guess if he backs out to range 4 or 5, he limits the strength of the attack in half. Now it can be at most a 6-3. And this is still a dash 2. Master furiously throws his pedals across. Okay, now 5-3 is the limit. And Overmaster is in the danger zone. Or if he spends too much flare, he can get blown up by Uthru's uh, Life to Shadow special, the Annihilation. I think there's a lot of merit to backing up doing the 5-3, although that ends the turn. So to backing up doing the 5-3. But you can't do that after an attack anyway. Yeah, it's tricky. So, if you could move forward five, that would obviously be better, but ground gravity is offline. I think the cards that you want to keep in your hand are the cards that will drain his player on turn. So if he tries to go for a reshuffle or something like that, he doesn't have enough flair to pay for his final pedal. And you also deny him the ability to do Annihilation by just taking his flair and building it into your own flair.
annihilation, extinction, it's one of the two, something like that. I think keeping the steam cannon probably was a mistake there. Um, I, again, I think he wants player denial, but that might just be matchup knowledge. Jay wants to guarantee that no matter what happens, he can keep three flare. Minimum. Or rather, three tokens between his flare and his life. And this is actually pretty awkward for him. You, he cannot centrifuge this turn because he's too far back. He can't move back to that. Lunches, okay. I think. He should be moving up here. But I guess it does make sense to try and take these tokens out of shadow, too. He should have moved up at least to one space, I feel like. Okay, so Jay is using the final pedal to avoid losing the game due to his paying for his reshuffle. Oh, okay. That makes sense by degrees. I think Overmaster wins this if he just focuses on sucking out all the shadow by... Uh, Recovering and focusing at this point. He's doing everything he can to deny Shadow to Jay. He has to dodge the Ashen 2-2 uh, two -two with full still. That he needs uh, a fair bit more than he's actually got. In terms of attacks here. Oh. Dude. 